Hey, hey, Mzansi. Well, Mzansi, okay, so remember when Annelam Dorda went on Twitter to skin a shame and she got dragged from here to Timber 2 for it? Well, no? Well, let me refresh your memory a little bit. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News, Mzansi. Now, if you're new to my channel, you know here for the stories, go ahead, click the subscribe button and that bell and you'll never miss an update. Well, Mzansi, the dragging didn't really get to her. I mean, she has thick skin, that one. I mean, no pun intended. Now, she has a hilarious story about how being thick contributed to her almost having a heart attack. As being on the radio show she hosts, Anela and The Club, she talked about how her underwear scared her half to death, Mzansi. Now, apparently because of load shedding, she was home in the dark and went off to take a shower. Now, while in the shower, she naturally took off her underwear, but it rolled up into the shape of a cook sister, like they would usually do, you know? Now, she left it lying on the floor in the shower because, well, she was in the dark and she decided to let it be tomorrow's problem when she can actually see, you know? Now, the drama came when she woke up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom. Now, because she was still half asleep and foggy, she saw the underwear rolled up in the corner and immediately thought snake. She jumped onto the sink table in horror, but then wondered why the snake wasn't moving, only to realize it was her underwear and not a snake. I mean, I can picture Anela on top of the sink table and it's hilarious imagine now her so-called co-host could not understand why she would mistake her underwear for a snake until she explained that it's because there is simply more of it so in a cook sister shape it would be long then they trolled her for being uh, having big underwear even saying that she's as single-handedly keeping the textile industry alive it was all a funny light-hearted moment but it did it did get me thinking about that skinny shaming tweet i mean anele you know who wouldn't be shocked by their underwear the skeletons it's all in good fun though because that story literally took me out why would you throw toothpaste at a snake anele why would you do that what would that accomplish namzansi go ahead and listen to the story yourself told by anele and let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below you know i love to hear from you but for now you know i will bring Bring you the updates hot just the way you like it guys you're the common thread amongst us south africans at the moment we load shaded and then uh, i'm just um, I, I come back um and i showered and, and and much to my mother's dismay where she's lying in her grave right now i'd gone into the shower with my underwear and then i took it off but you know when you take it off it just rolls into like a little scrunch like a, not even a scrunch come on like a, a wiggly my underwear is bigger than yours <laughs> we share so much <laughs> on this platform like a cook sister <laughs> yes like it twists. Yeah. thank you cindy you understand so it cannot twist and then it lays there right so i because it because i'd showered in the dark as well i didn't bother to like you know wash the underwear hang it on the shower wall so mm. i just left it on the floor of the shower and i was like i'll get to you in the morning when when there's light okay it's, it's dark now i can't find the sunlight bar soap you left it to sleep wet in the shower he, much to my mother's dismay i'm using <laughs> shiloh frank i guess i told you this thing. Okay. okay so then leave it there life goes on four or five hours later i'm going to wee Guys, I passed the underwear. I think it's a snake. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped up. Because now I'm, I've got sleep in my eyes. And yes, yes. I'm just like walking, just go to go wee. I, I see this thing on the shower. I jump on the sink table and I'm just... But now the snake is not moving. I'm like, the audacity to break into my house and then sleep. <laughs> Why don't you do what you gotta do and then leave? <laughs> then after like five seconds, I'm like, no, man. Shelly. Then I'm like, but that's my... Oh. All right. Now the whole house is up, running. Yeah, What's no, happening, Anele? No, 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 no. I didn't... I, I, this was a quiet moment. Okay, okay. Stuff, but okay. what I did do is I threw like a, a toothpaste just at the... Because now you never know who am I still... Um, just a toothpaste. Just be like, Vuga yeah. Just, yay, yay, yay. Move, move, move. Then I just threw the two toothpaste. I was like, okay, this is my underwear. Went to go pee and I went to bed. Wow. <laughs> Do you not think this is maybe a message from the other side? Yeah. <laughs> no, this is definitely a message for Telcom. I'm simply the middle man. I am John Edward. Okay. Uh, okay. I am the one who must pass the message on to Eskom. Would you now, now even the snakes are on board. Would you this now? Yes, sir. <laughs> This space in it's the dark. rubbish now. We, uh, we've, we've left the, oh, guys, they're fixing it. Now we are at, even the wilderness is joining. Shame. Uh, 
I hate you, Tim Biggie. <laughs> Sorry, but do you know how much underwear you need for your underwear to look like a snitch? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I was going to take a photo and then I realized there are some things that must just stay in your imagination. Wow. <laughs> At least you're keeping the fabric, the textile industry going. Oh. <laughs> oh, and you know what, eh? oh. you know what, it, I don't, 